And welcome back, everyone. We continue our Meet the Candidates series right here on Dakota News Now. This evening, we have some time with Sioux Falls at large city council candidate Richard Thomason. Very good to see you. Thank you for coming in. I appreciate it very much. Uh, tell us a little bit about who you are, what's your background, and why did you decide to run? Yes, yeah, certainly. So, moved to Sioux Falls when I was two and a half, and I like to say two and a half because it was actually two and a half on the day. Mm -hmm. So, June 27th of uh, 1994, and graduated Lincoln High School. Uh, spent four years outside of the, uh, the great state of South Dakota, mm -hmm. went to college up at the University of St. Thomas in St. Paul, Minnesota. Yeah. Had three job offers at a college, one in Chicago, one in Minneapolis, and one here in Sioux Falls, and could not wait to come back here and start my career and, and uh, really enjoy this city. Served in the legislature for two years, enjoyed my time in Pierre, but could think of no uh, better thing to do than come back and serve on the Sioux Falls City Council. Let's talk about that for a second, that experience that you gained in Pierre. How does that translate to an at-large city council position? Yeah, so you get that question a lot, especially when you're knocking on doors, and, and what it translates to is being able to learn how to work with everybody that's at the table. That's the people that are bringing an issue, that's other city councilors, that's the mayor, and just learning to get through the issues together and getting all common sense uh, approaches figured out. Uh, you know, your campaign, if you had to boil it down, uh, what does it stand for? What do you want the people to know? Why do you want them to send you to the city council? I'm the same person that everybody met when I was two and a half when I moved to Sioux Falls. And that was the greatest compliment that I got when I got done with the legislature was I had a dear family friend call me and say, you stayed true to yourself. I'm authentic, I'm a proven leader, and more importantly, I'm gonna be accessible to everyone. Is there a transparency issue involving city government, do you think? You know, that's a good question that I also get a lot. Um, I think the transparency issue is just when you're getting the information. I think sometimes people get the information uh, a little bit later, whether that's the citizens. Uh, but in terms of where I would be at is I'd be fully transparent as possible and make sure that uh, everyone knows what's going on. Do you think the city as it is right now is managing growth well, or are there areas that could be improved? Where are you on that? You know, the growth is our greatest asset, but also one of our greatest weaknesses. And where I'm at with that is we need to make sure that remember we remember the core neighborhoods and the fact that uh, we have to still drive on Minnesota Avenue to get out the new developments, but also to come downtown. And I wanna make sure our roads are good to go, our properties are staying up to standards, and that uh, everyone feels welcomed here in Sioux Falls. We're gonna take a quick break. We're having a conversation this evening with Richard Thomason. He's a candidate for an at-large seat on the Sioux Falls City Council. We'll take a quick break and then we'll be right back here on Dakota News Now.